If you look at GBM, or glioblastoma, it's still a very lethal tumor. Uh, if you think about all of our progress in cancer research, we've made a lot of phenomenal progress uh, in other cancer types, but we've made very incremental, very small progress with glioblastoma. Uh, in 2017, it's still a very lethal disease. And the five-year survival for, for patients with glioblastoma is only about 3%. So we're trying to improve on that survival rate so we sort of think about, you know, why is this cancer so lethal? And why is that five-year survival so bad? And we think it's because the tumors are just so aggressive. You know, we have really world-class neurosurgical teams here. They go in and they remove the tumor, but there's no possible way for them to get all of the tumor cells that spread throughout the brain. It's just a very aggressive, invasive tumor, and these cells spread all over the place. So what we're doing is trying to find ways to actually treat those cells that are spreading throughout the brain. Uh, and we do that by using nanoparticle technology. So we can actually take different drugs and we can encapsulate them into these nanoparticles. So they're very small uh, polymeric particles. So we use different chemicals and it's almost like um, a tumor seeking missile in that we can encapsulate different drugs or therapeutics in these particles. And we're working on finding ways to get them to target specifically to those cancer cells that have spread throughout the brain. So the idea is that uh, the neurosurgical team will go in and they'll take out the tumor as they normally do but when they can't get those cells that have spread throughout the brain, we can actually apply one of these targeted nanotherapeutics or nanoparticles with drugs in them, and they'll actually move throughout the brain and find those invasive cells and kill them. And hopefully we can prevent the, the disease from coming back in patients after their, their surgery.